Hello students, this is TK here. Today I will explain you three questions of exercise 10.3, question number 7, 8 and 10. Here is question 8. We have to use graphical method to determine how many solutions are there to the equation modulus of 2 tan x equals to 1 plus sin x for the interval 0 to 360 degree. Now, when we have to find out how many solutions, it means where these two curves are intersecting. So, basically on the graph, we will sketch this graph and this graph. So, let's see how do we do it. Now, if you look at it, because in, first of all, I will draw 2 tan x. Okay, and I have done half of the graph here because I wanted to explain and draw at the same time. So the technique is whenever the curve is in the modulus, for the time being you forget it that there is any modulus. You just sketch 2 tan x. Now for 2 tan x, if you see, basically it is 2 tan x plus 0, where 0 is your axis of the curve. And there is no amplitude because there is no maximum or minimum point in the tan curve. So, let's see how do we sketch it. Okay. We know that the cycle period of the tan graph is 0 to 180 degree. It means after that it repeats its shape or its form or its curve. So, from 0 to 90 the curve will have this shape. Right. And at 90 degree, you will have a line towards which the curve is trying to approach, but it will never touch it. So, that line is called asymptote. Now, why I am starting from here? Because I have just explained it to you that it is 2 tan x plus 0 because there is nothing actually in the question. So, my axis of the curve is 0. And I have already explained it to you what is axis of the curve in my earlier video. Okay. So, this is my zero x uh, y equals to 0 axis of the curve. So, from here I am going up. Just look at this graph. And from 180 degree I am coming down. It is coming towards this vertical line which is passing through 90 degree. But I have to sketch for the range 0 to 360. So, let us complete this graph. From here it will go up. And it will go closer and closer to the asymptote, but it will never touch it. Similarly, from 360 degree, you will sketch it downward. It will try to reach towards the line, which is a vertical line and passing through 270 degree. Now, this is the graph of 2 tan x, but in the question, it is in the modulus. And we know that in the modulus, Whenever there is modulus, we only consider positive value. So, this part of the curve, which is below the x-axis, will be reflected in the x-axis. Because all these negative values will go up here. And similarly, they, these values will be sketched over here. So, let us do it. Similarly, this graph. And then you will cancel out this part of the curve. So, in your original working, you can erase these lines. So, now this is your modulus 2 tan x graph. Now, what is the uh, importance of 2 here? I have already explained you in my earlier video that between 0 and 90, the degree is 45. So, at 45 tan, it will pass through because there is no maximum or minimum. So, now let us sketch the other curve which is 1 plus sin x. Now, if you see 1 plus sin x, I am just explaining here how, how I have sketched it over here. 1 plus sin x can be written as 1 sin x plus 1 because when no coefficient of here, it means it is 1. So, this is my axis of the curve. This is my amplitude. To find out the maximum and minimum value, I told you we add these two value 
and subtract these two. So I am getting 2 and 0. And we know in the sine graph, if you remember, roughly if we sketch it in the sine graph, the curve has this shape. So maximum will happen at 2 and minimum will happen at 0 and this line will be my plus 1. So whenever you are sketching, a rough sketch should be in your mind. So now let us see here. So at 1, this is my axis of the curve and in the sine graph we know the curve passes through axis of the curve at 0 degree, at 180 degree and at 360 degree right now and the maximum point is at 90 degree and minimum is at 270 and we have just seen here maximum is at 2 and minimum is at 0 so we have marked 2 at 90 degree and 0 at 270 degree hence we have 5 points 1 2 3 4 point and you will complete the sketch so now the part of the question which is saying use a graphical method to determine how many solutions. So now we have a sketch and we have to see at how many points it is intersecting. So this is the first point. This is the second point. This is the third point and this is the fourth point. So it has four solutions. Okay now let us see question number seven. Here it is question number 7 of exercise 10.3. Here again we have to sketch on the same diagram 2 curves, 3 cos x and 2 sin x minus 1. And interval is again 0 to 360. And after that we have to see the number of solution in the interval for this equation. Now this looks little different from what we have sketched here. So let us sketch it first and then we will see because question is saying then you um, state the number of solution it means we have to use this graph so we will see why this solution the solution of this equality will represent will be represented by this so let's see first of all we will sketch these two curve okay so now 2 sin x minus 1 minus 1 is the axis of the curve let's see here minus 1 is the axis of the curve and 2 is the amplitude. So if we see roughly, minus 1 is the central line above which and below which the distance of the maximum and minimum point is same which is called amplitude. Okay. So now maximum, point, maximum value we calculate by adding it and minimum value we calculate by subtracting it. So here we have maximum and minimum value. And in the second curve, which is y is equals to 3 cos x, there is no number. It means it is 0. So my amplitude is 3 and my axis of the curve is 0. And my maximum value will be 0 plus 3 is 3 and 0 minus 3 is minus 3. So if we see roughly, the sketch will be like this. So now let us see the sketch properly, how we have drawn here. Now this graph or this sketch is for 3 cos x because it is plus 0 it means the axis of the curve is here. So curve is passing through 90 degree and 273 degree, uh, 270 degree at the axis of the curve and maximum point is at 0 and at 360. This is the characteristics of the cos graph and minimum value is at minus 3. We have just seen it. So now we will see how we will sketch sine graph which is 2 sin x minus 1. Now 2 sin x minus 1 if you see here minus 1 is my axis of the curve. So sine graph passes through the axis of the curve at 0 degree, 180 degree, 360 degree. So I have marked these three points. And for maximum minimum I just showed it to you here that it will be minus 1 plus 2, minus 1 plus 2 and minus 1 minus 2. So we know in the sine graph maximum value happens at 90 degree and minimum value happens at minus 3 degree. 
So at 90 degree I am marking at 1 and at 270 degree I am marking at minus 3. So now if I complete this curve which I have left incomplete, so it will take this shape. Now question is saying how many solutions? So can you see at how many points it is intersecting the black and the red curve? Yes. Right. Two points. One is this and the other is this. So it means number of solutions of the curve is this. Now the thing is, this is my curve 3 cos x, 3 cos x and this is my curve 2 sin x minus 1 and question is saying 3 cos x plus 1 equals to 2 sin x. If I just take this minus uh, plus 1 to this side, it is exactly what is what we have sketched. Yes or no? So that's why intersection of this is equals to intersection of these two points which have which we have just a sketch. So it has two solution. Now we will solve question number 10. Question 10 of exercise 10.3 needs little more understanding of the concept. So let's see what it is asking to solve. First part of the question is saying is sketch on the same diagram the graph of 3 cos x minus 2 and 4 sin x modulus. Now if constant is outside the modulus or if you write it here like 4 sin x and then modulus it's the same thing. And we have to sketch it for the domain 0 to 360. And after that we have to find out number of solution for this equation. So let's solve this part which is very much like what we have just done before. But this needs a little deeper understanding. So it's quite interesting. So let's see how we will do it. So first of all let me just go through these two graphs. Okay so in the curve 2, uh, 3 cos x minus 2. 2 is my axis of the curve and 3 is my amplitude. Again my maximum value is minus 2 plus 3, minus 2 plus 3 and minus 2 minus 3. In my later video I will tell you if we have minus sign here then what happened to the curve. I have not discussed that case so far. So in my next video tomorrow I will explain if we have minus sign here then what happened. Okay. So don't forget to watch that video it's very important. And there are hardly any question in the book of that type. Okay. So now we have figured out maximum and minimum value. And we know in the cost graph the maximum happen at 0 degree and 360 degree. And minimum happen at 180 degree. And curve passes through axis of the curve at 90 degree and 270 degree. We know this thing now. Now let's see this curve y is equals to modulus 4 sin x. I just told you we can write the constant value inside as a multiplier. So it's the same thing. So now I just explained in the previous question whenever there is modulus we forget modulus and we just sketch this part first of all. So let's see here. In 4 sin x plus 0 axis of the curve is x axis and 4 will be my amplitude. If we roughly sketch it in our mind the graph will be like this. It will have maximum value plus 4, minimum value minus 4. So again maximum and minimum value by adding it and by subtracting it. Here I have the values. Okay, so now I am sketching it. Um, sign graph first of all. This is the sign graph. So this is my axis of the curve, x axis and it will pass through 0, 180 degree and 360 degree. We know it. And the maximum value will happen at 90 degree at 4 and min minimum at 270 degree, 270 degree at minus 4. Meanwhile, just forget this dotted black one because it is representing cos graph. I'll just explain in a while. So right now focus on the sine graph. Maximum is plus 4 at 90. Minimum is at 270 minus 4. And this is my axis of the curve. So my curve will be like. And we will try not to make a pointed curve because pointed curve is for absolute uh, linear function. 
Okay, so now we will sketch cos. The cos is 3 cos x plus 1. Now 3 cos, sorry, 3 cos x minus 2. So minus 2 is my axis of the curve. This curve is representing 3 cos x minus 2. So 3 cos x minus 2, minus 2 is my axis of the curve. Minus 2 plus 3, we have just seen here that maximum value is at 1 and minimum value is at minus 5. So now in the cos graph, the maximum value happens at 0 degree, so it is 1 and at 360 degree it is 1. And 180 pe, we always have a smallest value. So now this is my cos graph. Now the thing is, the sign was within the modulus. Now this sign I have sketched is a simple one, right, without modulus. So if my 4 sin x is actually in the modulus, so what will I do? Yes, can you recall, we have just done in the first example, the part of the curve which is below the x-axis, because all the values of y on this curve are negative. Can you notice if I ask you what is the value here, you may say minus 0 0.5. If I say what is the value here, you may say minus 1.3, something. So the thing is, all the values of y are negative here. Modulus means they can't be negative. So this minus 4 will be reflected in the x-axis. It will go on plus 4. So my curve will have this shape. And you will erase this part of the curve. Now, if I ask you what is the solution, you will say 1 and 2, right? But the question is little different. Question is saying 3 cos x minus 2 is equals to this plus k. Now, k is extra thing. We have not sketched this part. We have sketched only these two part. And question is saying, what is the value of k such that there are three solutions? Three solutions mean these curves should intersect at three points. Now, if I look at this curve, right now it is intersecting only at two points. Now, plus k is with modulus of sin x, right? It is with this. 4 sin x modulus plus k. Now, plus k can be negative value and can be positive value. If it is positive value, it means this part of the curve will transform up. And if it goes up, there will be no connection between them. So there will be no solution. Whereas if this curve keep coming down, sliding down, this point comes here, this point goes here. So curve will take this shape. Then further down, it will take this shape. Then further down, it will take this shape. So now I will have three solutions, one, two, three. Now imagine once again, it is sliding down this curve and the shape of the curve will be something like this. So it means how much it should slide down? This distance. So what is this distance? It is minus five. We know when the curve slides down, we represent it by negative number. So I know and you also understand, understood now that if this point comes 5 unit down, it will touch it here. And this 4 will come here. So it means we will have a curve from here and from here. Then it will have 3 solutions. Hence, k must be minus 5. I hope it is understood. And thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any request, please send an email to me. The email address is given in the description and don't forget to subscribe and like if you have learned something from my video. Thank you very much for watching.